You know, I get asked sometimes, why are you a squirrel? Well, probably because my parents were. Hey folks, welcome to This Week in History. Let's boot, scoot, and boogie on along. On August 30th in 1791, the HMS Pandora sank after running aground on the Great Barrier Reef. The Pandora was carrying mutineers from the Bounty to face trial in England, four of whom died. For more information on the Bounty Mutiny, check out that eye up there. On August 31st in 1056, Byzantine Empress Theodora died and since she was childless, ended the 200-year Macedonian dynasty. Her successor was Michael the sixth, who exactly one year later in 1057 abdicated the throne. In 1422, England's Henry V died in France of dysentery. Yeah, that wasn't just an organ trail thing, being replaced by his nine-month-old son, Henry VI. Fun fact, Henry VI's maternal grandfather was Charles IV. Man, I hope that's a hat. King of France, who died shortly after Henry V, making a not-yet-one-year-old technically king of both England and France. He's actually the only English monarch to be crowned as king of both countries. I wonder if his first royal decree was to discover how his wet nurse disappeared every time she covered her eyes. On September 1st, 1715, King Louis XIV died. Better known as the Sun King, he reigned for 72 years, the longest of any European monarch. It's kind of like if Eisenhower was still in charge. On September 2nd, 1192, the Treaty of Jaffa was signed, eventually ending the Third Crusade between Richard the Lionheart and Saladin. The treaty signing was between the two, not the whole Third Crusade. Uh, okay, well, yeah, technically, I guess the whole Third Crusade, too. The treaty called for a three-year peace between the two sides, which did last all three years. As the next crusade wasn't until 1197 with the German Crusade. No, not that German Crusade. That German Crusade came much later and was much more horrifying. In 1870, Prussia won the Battle of Sedan during the Franco-Prussian War, capturing French Emperor Napoleon III and about 100,000 French troops. So yeah, this pretty much ended the war. A quick reminder here to check out the links in the description below. You can get some of this fine merchandise from our store or get a hold of some exclusive content over on our Patreon. Okay, now, moving along. On September 3rd at 301, San Marino, the oldest still existing republic and one of the smallest countries in the world, was founded. To give a size comparison, San Marino, which is landlocked in Italy, by the way, is roughly the same size as the city of Nacogdoches, Texas. In 1658, Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England and the guy that helped outlaw Christmas, but hey, he also overthrew the king and ran the country for five years, died. He was replaced by his son, James. On September 4th of 1781, Los Angeles was founded as, yeah, I'm not going to read that. It'll be at the bottom of the screen, but it means the village of Our Lady, the Queen of the Angels. And fun fact, it originally consisted of 44 settlers. In 1870, Emperor Napoleon III of France was deposed. Remember, he was captured by the Prussians two days ago, and the Third Republic was established. It lasted until World War II. On September 5th in 1666, the Great Fire of London finally ended after five days. 10,000 buildings were destroyed, which included the original St. Paul's Cathedral, but only six deaths, so, you know, that's a plus. In 1698, Tsar Peter I of Russia, better known as Peter the Great, imposed attacks on beer for all men except for the clergy and peasantry. Yeah, they were actually called peasants. The whole idea was to westernize Russia, seeing as beards weren't exactly all the rage in the rest of Europe. In 1793, the French National Convention began the Reign of Terror, which was responsible for the execution of about 17,000 people with another 10,000 or so dying in prison. The French Revolution really was something else. And in birthdays, we've got ball player, manager, and sporting goods mogul Albert Spalding in 1849, Roman Emperor and overall terrible human being Caligula in 12 AD, Roman Emperor and decent enough guy, I guess, Commodus in 161, and we've already talked about his death, but Louis XIV was born this week in 1638. That's gonna do it for this week. We'll see you back here, same squirrel time, same squirrel channel. Your homework assignment for this week is to do a random kind deed. Pitter patter. Pitter patter.